Hello Pisces and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. Let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Oh boy. Oh, you are so done. <laughs> you are so done with people making you feel used okay um i'm kind of getting the sense that you're celibate or you're just you're done um with these i feel like it's it's men using you okay you're in empress in the minor arcana right now focused on your abundance focus on your business right everything positive in your life you're focusing on all the right stuff and it's it's growing you a lot of abundance you're seeing that you're a very high value person okay whatever it is that you're doing i feel like you've got a lot you've got your money's good your business is good your job is good um you've got everything you need and then some you don't need some man wanting to come in and use you okay that's what it is you don't need some man wanting to come in and use you. Yeah, that door is closed. Um, if somebody wanted to come in from your past, I feel like they can't now. You've made a decision when it comes to love. And, you know, um, you're also, you're ready for love, okay? In this Empress and the Minor Arcana energy, you're ready for love. You've learned all your lessons. You know what it is that you want. But you're not going to settle, for anything besides somebody who's going to be loyal and dedicated to your connection, okay? You, um, you're you ready for a commitment. You just haven't met the right one yet, okay? And I feel like anybody from your past that's used you before, they can't come back in now. Mm -mm. Plus, you have a lot to protect here, okay? Uh, the Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor, Um. I'm hearing something about Atlanta. So you could be living in the southern states right now. Um, you could be from Georgia. I'm also seeing the um, the cornbread. Oh, best cornbread in the world. I swear. I used to live in Georgia. So big shout out to Georgia and Douglasville. Um, big shout out to you guys. I, it was the best time in my life besides now, right now, right? Um, but yeah. Uh, you could be having some greens for lunch, greens and cornbread, maybe some iced tea, best iced tea, best cornbread in the world, you guys, I kid you not. But yeah, I feel like the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor, um, and you have a lot to protect, and you don't want to... Um, you don't want anyone coming in to sabotage everything that you've built for yourself, okay? You could be a Virgo, you could be a Taurus, Aries... You know, and I feel like you, I'm talking to somebody who has um, been used by other people before, or maybe it's this one person from your past. You're not letting them back in. I, I'm getting, they feel really nervous about this. Very jittery. They're, um, they're wanting to come in very quickly. Okay. I'm also getting that you are already leaving the scene like or either physically or um emotionally energetically you're just done you're done this person they're coming forward way too slowly it's taken them way too long to come in okay that's the knight of pentacles um and now they want to come in and try to rush but there's something very jittery about this person you know you could have had too much coffee today you could be having, um, like, leftover spaghetti today, okay? Spaghetti and, and coffee, something like that. You could be a Cancer. You could be dealing with a Cancer. You could be dealing with a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Heavy on Sagittarius. Yeah, you're wanting an Emperor. That's what you want, okay? You're wanting somebody who's not going to burn you who's not going to betray you, okay? You want someone who's going to be honest with you, someone you can build a family with in the future, someone who's learned their lessons, okay, and has passed all their tests. You want somebody who knows what they're doing when it comes to being a legitimate partner for somebody. That's what you want, and you're not going to settle for anything less than what you deserve, and you deserve an emperor, 
You've, you've made it to Empress status. Really? The only thing you don't have is, so, is a soulmate at your side, building what you're building. Okay, helping to build what you're building. Um, a legitimate offer. You know, and any anyone less than somebody who's going to be loyal and dedicated and honest with you, you're going to say no. You could be a Scorpio as well. You've got the best cutoff game of every Zodiac, okay? Yeah, and I feel like you're just not dealing with it. Anybody who comes to you with lies, anybody who's not single, anybody who's a player, anybody who tries to take advantage of you, they're done. They're done. It's a deal breaker. You will fold on that. You could be having Mexican food for, for lunch today. That sounds good, too. Tacos and guacamole dip. You could be eating at a restaurant today for lunch, listening to this. Yeah, some hot food for lunch today. You could be a Leo Aries Sagittarius. I feel like you're holding out for... Um, a divine counterpart is really what I'm feeling like. I feel like you're a divine feminine and you're holding out for a divine masculine. Maybe not your past person, but um, someone who's going to be true to you. Somebody who is going to know how to treat you right, respect you, and treat you like an equal. Okay? This, this um, emperor that's coming into your life, because I feel like this person's coming in, this could be a displaced divine masculine, divine feminine, take it how it resonates. I mean, I feel like I'm talking to a divine feminine here, but you can always reverse the roles. It's really not gender specific. And I feel like divine feminines, you're in your emperor, empress energy anyway, right now. Okay, yeah, you're you want a commitment from someone, you want a king of pentacles, emperor, and that's all you're going to take because you know your worth and value. You want someone who's going to be honest with you, grounded, stable in the relationship. You want somebody who is not going to be codependent, okay? You're you don't want to be a grown man's mommy. All right? So I feel like you want someone who can take care of themselves, who's going to treat you like an equal, who's going to respect you and respect your boundaries. Okay? Somebody who's going to stand up for you, defend you, and not let people walk all over you. Right? That's what you want. And I feel like it's coming. I feel like you've got a king of pentacles emperor coming into the picture here. Because you decided to close the door on the past, all right? Anybody who's lied, anybody who's betrayed you, you know, anyone who has sabotaged anything for you, you're not letting those people back in. They can sit on the other side of this pond and think about all the lies they gave you in the past. Think about all, they need to think about all of the um, gossip that they spread about you behind your back. Okay? They need to deal with their own burdens. You know, you've got, you're going to have a new soulmate connection collective. This is the peanut butter and jelly sandwich. You know, I feel like um, this is going to be a really good connection. You could be eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich for lunch today. Yeah, and once you meet this new person, that's it. It's it's going to be it's going to be on. Okay? So this new person is coming in. They may be traveling. This is a travel card. They may be traveling a distance to get to your area. So this could be a foreigner. They could come from anywhere. Um I'm hearing Spain. I don't know why I'm getting Spain. Um, but yeah, this is somebody who is um, going to be a foreigner, okay? I think they're not, they're at least not from your area. They're going to, they're going to be traveling to your area, okay? And once you meet this person, you're going to hit it off right away. This is going to be somebody that you're going to be very comfortable with. 
you're going to be comfortable to open up to them. There, this, this King of Pentacles is so grounded and so stable. Okay, they're very down to earth. And the Emperor in them is very protected. They're going to make you feel safe and secure. And you're going to open up to this person. I feel like once you meet them, it'll start as a very close friendship. But then it's going to turn into a commitment pretty quickly. Okay? All right, what else can you show me? You could be a Gemini as well. Banana split, yeah. You're... Um, you're splitting from everything from your past and you're extra firm about it. Okay? This is a judgment call that you're making. All right? Um, and you're putting your foot down to anything or anyone from the past. You're like, done. That door is shut. These people from your, anyone from your past now that has wronged you, they can't come back in. They can't come back in. And now I feel like your life is going to start taking off. You're, you are already doing really quite well. Very successful in your life now. Your love life is about to start taking off very quickly. Okay, this person, I feel like they're coming in really quickly. And the ones that you're closing the door on, their life is a mess. Um, there could be someone here who's an emotional wreck as well, but they're kind of like in a circus mess right now, okay? I feel like people are getting their karma. So you send these people away a mess. They may be feeling sorry for themselves. They may be like angry with you. I don't think you care. I have just heard who cares. The, yeah, I don't think you care how these people from your past feel. And then as soon as you close that door and turn those people away, a new cookie comes in. This is your new person, okay? That's a new person. So you're about to meet a King of Pentacles emperor who's traveling a distance, okay, to get to your area. They may be traveling for business or this could be a job change that they're making. They're going to be new to your area, okay? It'll give you guys plenty to talk about. All right, I'm telling you, you're going to you're going to meet this person and you're going to you're going to have so much in common and so much to talk about. This is going to be your new boo. This is going to be your new relationship right here. Okay, that's a new cookie. All right, give me just a couple more for my beautiful collective. Ace of sides. Classic. Yeah, I feel like these are these are people that want to come back in. Yeah, I, I'm getting the sense that these people, somebody here wants to come back in. I'm sensing it's a masculine. And they've been a player in the past. They've left you feeling used up like an empty bag of chips. Okay? Um, they've had plenty of sides. They've been dipping their chicken strips into whatever they want. Okay, and I'm, I'm kind of getting the sense that they could be finding out they've got some kind of STD. I'm getting a sense that there's an STD that's been spread around. This person's in a lot of regret as well, okay? Because things have broken with you. They could be trying to write you some kind of letter or text message that they keep. Like, they'll write a text message, they'll delete it. They'll write you a letter they'll rip it up, okay? I feel like this person really doesn't know how to talk to you. I feel like they're absolutely done as well. And they're finding out. They could be finding out they've got an STD. So really, uh, you, you rejected somebody that you don't even know they have an STD. Like, this is some stuff you don't know. You don't know how many people this person from your past has been with. You don't know that they had an STD and you're turning them away. You're using your intuition and you're like, you're saying, nope, nope, nope. Right? 
that's protecting you. You have no idea, man. If you were to get mixed up with this person from your past again, they'd give you an STD. They would put you in another third party. You're turning them away. And you're going to be getting um, an emperor, king of pentacles, that is not going to do that to you. Okay? They're not going to do that to you. Yeah, somebody from your past has an STD, and you're like, this is where we split. I'm so done. That's pretty much what you're saying. Yeah, anybody you can't trust, yeah, this is a person from your past that has an STD that wants to return to your life, and I feel like you've already made your decision that that's going to be a no, okay? This is definitely someone from your past. You're about to get someone new. This new person is definitely someone who's not from around here, okay? They're not from around here. So you're, that could be a, a confirmation for someone. But they're definitely, um, they're like in this higher font emperor energy, okay? This is the one you've been waiting for. This is the one you've been, um, like you're, uh, you're only going to want a specific kind of person with a specific kind of character. This is it. Somebody who's going to be real with you. Someone who's going to help build um, a, a generational wealth and an empire with you. And somebody who is going to protect you and be honest and be loyal and dedicated. Okay? That's what you're about to get here in love. Yes. You could be having a burger for lunch today, hummus, Mexican food. You could be at like a southern grill, something like that too as well. You could be a Leo. I don't know. I'm I'm feeling Leo, Gemini, Virgo, heavy Virgo energy. Um this new person, they could be a, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Aries, maybe Gemini. Yeah, let's see what, um, I want to crack into this. I want to see what your fortune says, okay? <laughs> All right, what is this, what is my collective's fortune today? Let's see it. You will be spending some time on the beach soon. Okay, so I feel like maybe you're both traveling. You and this new person, you could be traveling and meet them on a trip. You could both be on some kind of business trip or convention and meet each other there, you know? Um, so I'm seeing travel in your future, a vacation, maybe spending some time on a beach at a pool. Okay, you could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, uh, you may take a trip with this person in the future, or that could be where you meet them, right? And your lucky numbers are 5, 8, 12, 15, 29, and 32. Okay, if you add these numbers together, break them down, numerology style, you'll end up with one number. You can Google that number and its meaning, okay? And it'll, um, it'll give you more messages from spirit, okay? It'll help you on your path in the future, all right?